Hello? Suck my dick. If you would like some cheap and reliable coins, head over to X3Game.com and use the code BHD for 8% off your order. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruxy HD. Ah, yes. Today, we're doing the marquee matchups for the 31st of August. It's Halloween. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, actually. There's literally kids screaming outside my house right now, so I hope they're getting scared and. Not in a bad way. That'd be a lawsuit. <laughs> so yeah, Marky matches. we've got four teams as per usual. We're going to show you the cheapest and easiest way to do it. Like we always do. Let's get into it. So as you can see, pink sign for this one. Different? <laughs> Anyways, you get a premium gold players pack for completing this, which is the one with the 12 players and three of them are rare. Not a great pack, to be quite honest. We got Dortmund, Bayern, Genoa, Sampdoria, Copenhagen and Bronby, and then River Plate versus Bocky Juniors. Alright, so we'll start off with the first one, the Danish League one. Basically, right, you just need six Danish players. You only need six, well, actually, to be fair, you need six Danish players and six Danish League players. So you might as well get six Danish, Danish League players, if that makes any sense. What you can do then, is just fill out the right-hand side or the left-hand side, or the goalkeeper and two centre-backs, with good high-rated, like, other league players like I have done there with um, I used three Spanish league players I used Torres Parejo and Inaki Williams because they're high rated I don't really care about them I'm just going to throw them in there obviously they might be expensive so you can use any other ones you can use you know French players from league one you can use Italian players from Calcio A German players from the Bundesliga that are quite high rated that don't go for a lot like most of them players do and Inaki Williams might go for a bit but basically it's just it's just simple so you move on to the second one here the Boca versus River Plate one basically for this one you need one Argent or you need one River Plate or Boca Juniors player there's quite a few of them around it doesn't even have to be an Argentinian. There's a Colombian left back called Fabra. That's from Boca Juniors. Might not go for a lot uh, because he's not Argentinian. You need six Argentinian players, which means all you got to do is go and get, you know, players from uh, Liga Santander, get some Argentinian players from there, or just Argentinian players from anywhere. As long as you get, you know, six goal players in there, you're fine. It's really easy to do. You just need any other league, pretty much, with Argentinian players. It's so easy to do. Next one, then, was easy really easy for me uh, Genoa Sampdoria because I'm investing in the Calcio A to do the player not the player of the month what am I talking about the league SBC for example like Quincy Promes was for the Russian league I invested in that because I thought I would use that card I, I seen that card two days before and um, it came out and I really wanted it so I bought every, like one player from each position in the Russian league I've done the same thing with uh, the Calcio A so I had I had everyone I, uh, like literally I just built a full Serie A team you can do the same they don't go for a lot. They will not go for a lot. Maybe Genoa players might. Maybe Sampdoria players might. You need two of them, if I'm not mistaken. They're, they're, they're going to be dirt cheap. You just need to build a full Calcio A team, really, and get 76 rating. It's it's piss easy, bro. I move on to the last one, Dortmund versus Bayern. This one is also going to be so easy for you. Um, I would assume some of you players have... Some of you players, some of you lads have some Dortmund players and Bayern players. I just use Juan Burnett and Andre Schürrle. I have them in the club. There are so many options you can use here, boys. Uh, Bayern might be a little bit harder because there's a lot of high-rated teams. But I just feel, built a full Bundesliga seed. Side. It's it's literally that easy. You just need 79 rating, which means you do need a few high-rated players. But there's loads of them in the Bundesliga, boys. Right, so once they were done, you get a premium gold players pack. We're going to open up the packs here because I thought, you know, I might as well add them into this video. What's the point of doing them? Showing you the cheapest way and the easiest way to do them. And then not show you what I got in my packs, you know what I mean? So we opened the first pack. We got Andres Guardado. He's a decent player, but he's not someone that will sell for anything. Um, What, what pack was this? This was the Jumbo... The basically normal pack, but times two, if that makes any sense. We got uh, 1,000 coins, which I wasn't too displeased at. Currently nearly at 900 coins, the most, uh, 900,000 coins, the most I've ever had on this game. Next up, we open the Premium Electrum Players Pack, which I actually like these packs. I packed Eber from one of these one time, and uh, we pack a decent player in this one. Not a fantastic player, a decent player. I love him in real life, because he's a Chelsea player. It's Alvaro Morata, who is... I love him, and he's a good player at the back, he goes for like 7k, so he's not that much, but he, you know, it's a bit of profit, seeing as I don't have to spend anything to buy these players anyways, uh, I'm happy, it was a shit pack, the rest of it, but I'm happy. Next pack up then was the rare gold pack, we pack a very relevant player actually in this pack, we pack a Japanese magician by the name of Shinji freaking Kagawa, plays for Dortmund, don't think he's going to sell for a lot because people are going to try and shift on the Dortmund players and the Bayern players. So I didn't even bother checking his price. I just listed him up as soon as I got him. Just the easiest thing to do. Not a great pack. We also got a Bocca player in there, actually. That was the left back I was talking about. And that's why he came to my mind because I, <laughs> I packed him. And then last pack then, the pack you get for completing the marquee matchups. We go ahead and get a decent player. I like him in real life. Just, just doesn't sell for anything, actually. It's, it's one friend. Um, 
yeah, bit underwhelming for <laughs> for the marquee matchups. These marquee matchups, folks, should cost you around 20, 25, 20, 20 30,000 coins. Sorry, just had a brain fart there. Uh, decent. You know, it's quite easy. So, boys, that was how to complete the marquee matchups for fairly cheap, fairly easily. Uh, once again, the Danish one is probably going to be the hardest one for you guys to complete. But there are so many bronze players in the Danish league. You can just go out and get full bronze and then get a decently high rated side on, like, if you use your striker, right wing and centre mid. You know, get Spanish players like I did, use Torres. Fucking players like Anaki Williams use fucking Pareto. He's 82 rated goals for pittance. So, you know, there's a lot of options you can do with the Danish League. Just use your head. And yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, boys. I uh, hope you liked the new thumbnail. I've got my graphics designer to actually make me a, one I can edit myself. And it's not just the usual shit that you've been seeing. But I'll see you in the next one, boys. Have a wonderful day. Got a good video coming out tomorrow. Bye.